Morning. Seems to slowly be getting warmer. Doesn't seem like there's a frost this morning. I've got my hat on still. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Andy's here just sorting some straw out. Hi Andy! Just speaking to Andy there, he says um, we've got another load of that plasterboard coming today, so um, we'll do sort of the, maybe the other half of the farm with plasterboard, see how it goes. But I just thought I'd have a look round at Tilly Spedder, because when I've washed it, I always like to look round it after it's dried, just to make sure there aren't any spots that we missed. Because, like I was saying yesterday, it really does rust and corrode stuff, that uh, fertiliser. So I'll just have a quick check around that. It doesn't look too bad, to be honest. I've just jumped on the 9 metre. Sorry, just trying to look under my boom there. Um, just to shift some of the fertiliser bags, because we've got a lot of, lots that can be stacked on top of each other. These here, these three, can be stacked on top and put a bit tidier. So we've got a bit more room in the shed, so... That's my plan right now. Sandy's still blowing straw in down there. In the job tub. I have seen Em as well. She is about here somewhere. I think she must be helping my dad open the gates. There he goes. I'm just going to put the fodder beat bucket on the 9 metre. Feed some lunch out. Change of plan. I'm shifting the trailer. Does that look beastly or what? A 16 ton trailer on the JCB. I ain't got anything in it, mind. Here we are, another load of plasterboard. All right, Em. You keeping busy? Keeping busy. Nice. Very good job of that fertilizer spread, aren't we? Business. Business. Look at that. Coming out mega. Off on his way now. I've got yet more water trough issues to sort out. God, do not get a bore roll, that's all I can say. Saves you loads of money, causes you loads of hassle. Especially if you've got dirty water. If you've got clean water, then you're all right. But if you've got to clean all your water, like we have, nightmare. As I'm doing all this, we've got another lorry arrived. I'm guessing this is fodder beat. So we've either got fodder beat or we've got maize turning up. We've got a lot of fodder beat turning up today. We'll see how this goes. Emma would like this wagon anyway. Scania. A load of beat on there. We've got about six loads coming today, I think. So the pile should look fairly full by the end of the day. Might have to find somewhere else to tip it. And we've also got a load of maize, flowery kind of stuff coming, whatever it is. We'll see what that is when it turns up. So me and Em have just been checking out these uh, wood lice. Wood lice. What do you call them, Andy? A jiggy pig. A jiggy pig! <laughs> me and Em, we've never heard out like it, have we? No. <laughs> but, it's a Devon thing because we found it out the other day. Devon, Devon is the Jiggy Pig's capital. Proper, proper English, Queen's English. It's Queen's English is Jiggy Pig. <laughs> what, so the Queen says Jiggy Pig? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we send her a letter him and ask the Queen if she calls him the Jiggy Pig? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> um, weren't you doing some detective work this morning? Go on. Right, come on. It didn't rain last night, look how wet it is. I wonder what might have happened, Em. Um. That was where I thought. <laughs> everything dried up. Yeah, I know everything did dry up and now it's all wet through. It's because I fixed the water drop, but I've obviously not tightened it properly or it's adjusted and the float's got stuck under the concrete lip. So it just kept flowing all night. Yeah. Oh well. I'll fix it again, eh? Coffee cam has been wholly unsuccessful today. But, new office. Health and safety first. This beat's coming in thick and fast now. I'm already getting quite a pile there. It's all happening. 
happening? We've got my mate Mickey here with some barley. Fodder beat leaving. We're gonna have to have a zone roundabout, I think, in, uh, in a minute. So I'm just pushing the beat up now, trying to get in front a bit. Uh, Andy and M are uh, just clipping some cattle for me. Got a mix of sort out of this barley. Now I'll have another load of fodder beat here. Oh yeah, it's getting busy. Mix come on his five one hundred beast today. How come you've chosen this one, mate? Just fancied it. Oh, he's got drilling disc on other two tractors. Ready to go, ready for spring. He's gonna have a yard full of fodder beat. We're not gonna be able to get around anywhere. Should be able to start getting it pushed up a bit higher though. Do you think it's looking like a big pile? I think he's getting there. Ah, with this much beat, I think we're gonna have to probably go to feeding them both ends of the day with it. Um, at the minute, we just feed them in the morning, um, and then in the evening, we just feed around with the TMR. But uh, yeah, we'll have to up the up the beat amount. I think just try and keep the cost of feed down at the moment, because uh, like everything, it's spiraling out of control. It's a little bit later. Andy and Em are gonna empty some pens and put this in, um, just so that Em don't have to be anywhere near when Andy's putting it in. Um, yeah, they're just putting some straw now into the pens that have had the plasterboard in so that the cattle have still got access to straw because um, they do like eating it and it is quite important for the rumen to function to have some long fibre in it. Um, and yes, it does have it in the TMR, but just having that extra little bit of straw in the ration helps it out as well. Doesn't it, Em? So there we go, it's all white and plasterboard in there. And um, they're all very dry, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. So Andy's just putting that straw down there so then they can, uh, can eat it as they like. Oh, there's always one, isn't there? Hey. So yeah, they're coming for a little sniff at it. They'll not eat it very fast, but um, it's just there. If they want it, make sure they wrap it. So, yo, um, yo, um, uh, Andy, sorry, that's Andy down there, isn't it? Andy is filling up the 7530 with diesel. It's about dinner time, isn't it, really? Yeah. Um, so we'll have his dinner, and then um, they're gonna empty one of the pens, put the plasterboard in, have fun with that. Em's gonna um, stay up this end at yard where after all dust, and maybe do some sweeping up or something. Scrap so. that, Andy's come up with a better plan. So Andy's gonna go <laughs> and do that uh, plasterboard. M, what are you gonna do? Make a mix. Make a mix. Get the mix started for tonight. That's better. That is that is a more efficient plan, that Andy. Yeah. I like that. That's good thinking. Yeah. Check the size of this beat out. I've got a big head, and it's bigger than my head. Huge. Funny thing is, I've just M has just walked around the corner. <laughs> I'm holding a piece of beat to my head. <laughs> it's heavy that M, you know. Oh, hold it. Hold it to your head, M. <laughs> Can you lift it that high? It's heavy, isn't it? <laughs> Things we do for YouTube, eh? Are ridiculous. So now me and Andy are taking this old wire that was taken down about 15 years ago, I think Andy it was. Yeah. Been stored in the shed for that long. It looks absolutely disgusting. And my mum's decided that she wants it around her garden to keep the dogs in. Um, hmm. I don't think we'll make a very good job of 
it, but uh, if that's what she wants, then that's what she's going to get. It's a bit windy, and me and Andy are putting it out. You're not going to like this, Mum. Well, the wild cows have come to see us, Andy. Yeah. Not so wild anymore. The highlands look more wild than the others. So, me and Andy, I'm not sure how much we're going to charge. Oh, we're charging per meter, Andy. Yeah. Tenner, tenner a meter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so now we've got our maze turned up. So we'll see what this is like. I think it's supposed to be about 25% moisture, so it will just yeah. stick together a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Nice. nice. We can't get it to come out, so we've had to pull further out, tip it up, and we'll get the job of putting it into the back of the shed a bit later. But hey, that's how it is. Yeah, it's coming out now. Just have the job of shoveling it into the back of the shed bad as traffic gold this stuff so me and em are just tidying the last of this maze in and we're starting feeding up and he's gone home he's gone and left us hasn't he em have you he's <laughs> <laughs> um, he's had stuff to sort out with uh, with his car, so he's gone to uh, gone to pick it up. So, uh, so yes, yeah, so he's left us to clean up and feed up and what have you. But we'll be all right. So right now, I'm on with doing a feed mix. We've got a bit more feeding up to do. Then we should be about there. So me and M are about done for today. See, I did it there. Like, da, 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 da. Yeah, I don't know, it's like, oh, it's speaking with emphasis,ism is it? Oh, it sounds good anyway, that's what all the YouTubers do, supposedly. Check it out. So, me and Em have about done for today. Um, just got a little bit more feeding round to do. I'm going to go on the straw blower because Andy didn't do the path this morning because we thought we'd end up putting some plasterboard in. But we didn't end up having time, did we, Em? No. But we'll get that in tomorrow. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Head over to our live if you want to see that because we did the live a little bit earlier. Um, but if not, we will catch you uh, tomorrow for tomorrow's video. Yep. No. Bye. So you're not here. <laughs> so yeah. Friday, Friday. Friday, you'll find them. Yeah. But yeah, I'll do a video tomorrow, me and Andy. So we'll see you then. Maybe Big Mickey as well. He turned up earlier. Right, see you later. Bye. Look at this, in the new tractor with no loader on it. Right, this is the inside view. What do people think? Do you like it? I don't know. Looks better actually from inside, I suppose. Anyway, see you later. Bye.